say the word budget, people's eyes glaze over, but this is a fighting word to the roughly 27,000 employees of Miami-Dade County. This week, Mayor Carlos Jimenez told them he wants them to extend the pay and benefit concessions they gave him three years ago for another two to three years. Mayor Jimenez says those concessions are critical for the county to maintain services at their current levels and for no layoffs to occur. The County Commission on Tuesday went along with the mayor's proposed budget for the most part, although they did raise the library millage more than the mayor wanted, and several commissioners expressed dismay that 230 Miami-Dade police officers would be laid off under his budget. Luis Fuste and the Police Benevolent Association were more than dismayed. They were livid that 230 cops would be laid off under this budget. Mr. Fuste is a lieutenant in the Miami-Dade Police Department. He is assigned to the PBA. He is also a lawyer. Dr. Terry Murphy is a consultant to several county unions, and he has many years of experience inside Miami-Dade County government as chief of staff to a former county commissioner, and he has a PhD from FIU. To both of you, Luis, Terry, great to have you come in this morning. Uh, uh, Luis, let me begin with you. The budget that Mayor Jimenez issued uh, to the commission, the commission approved uh, on Tuesday, or at least they set the maximum tax rate first step in a long process, but he really called it a worst case scenario budget and nobody seems to like it. I know the PBA doesn't like it. Why not? Well, first of all, Michael, thank, thank you for having us here today. Now, with respect to the budget, we are currently working off a three-year contract that was based on the last budget. And in that contract, there were certain concessions that I think all unions made, specifically the PBA, with respect to the police department and corrections. And in those, in that contract, the negotiated by the police department were concessions that were supposed to end now this year here. Right. October 1st, in fact, uh, not only police, but all Miami-Dade County Union employees were going to get, what, Terry, 5% that they had given up uh, three years ago? Well, no, there's a whole series of concessions that were made relating to furloughs and holidays that are unpaid now. There's night differentials. There's all, uh, the yeah. concessions are throughout the document. And depending and depending on where you work, it could equate to about 15 to 18, almost 22 percent of your base pay. That much. That much, depending on your shift. Like Terry said, there's night differentials. So if you're an afternoon officer, you get another five percent concession. But with respect to your question, these are supposed to come back, and that was agreed to by the mayor. That's how we agreed that contract. All right. Well, the mayor says he gave that as his hope that it would end October 1st. Your friend and boss, so Sergeant John Rivera of the PBA, emphatically says, not so. This is in stone. This was carved in stone. We were going to get these back. Now, Terry Murphy, do you see it that way? Absolutely. This is contract. These are labor contracts that were entered into, signed off by the mayor in 2011. All the concessions that he was able to extract from the unions during the negotiations in 2011, he signed off on the fact that they would come to an end on September 30th, 2014. That's how he was able to, to get the unions to go along with the idea, the concept yeah. that we would sacrifice for a period of time, the union would sacrifice, and then it expires. Now, at this point in time, to say that you know we're in negotiations on those issues, no, we're, the negotiations that are occurring now are for the next contract. Yeah. Well, the mayor says, and pretty emphatically said it on this program, said it again Tuesday in the county commission chamber, that, you know, he doesn't want to do this. He respects county employees, respects police officers and the other county workers, but facts are facts, and the county has lagged in getting the revenue from increased property values. I mean... Thank goodness the, the county economically is starting to revive. Job figures uh, are much better. But the tax revenues for increased value, uh, property value, only comes in about a year later. So there's this lag, and he says that's why we have to do this. Well, not only, not only did we agree to these concessions, but the mayor made it very clear 2012 in June during a Miami Herald Aeratorial Board interview. He wanted the employees to take this pill one time. He said it was a big pill. Yeah. One time, and they were cured. Those were his exact words. Yeah. Well, I remember uh, your friend John Rivera said, as he does memorably so often, uh, he told us to take a bite of a kind of a bleep sandwich. We would have to take that bite once. Now we're being asked to take the bite again. Imagine this, Michael. Imagine if you had a mortgage that was due 30 years, 
and on your 30th year, you make your final payment, and your mortgage company calls you up and tells you, Michael, you got five more years to pay. Mm -hmm. I then, wouldn't be happy. Today. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, Terry, let's talk a little bit about uh, the fact that the commission uh, on Tuesday, although they expressed dismay, as I said, about the possibility of laying off 230 police officers, they did raise the millage and more than the mayor wanted for libraries. Um, do you think that's going to stick? Oh, I would hope so. I mean, the library department within the library district, they've had a 25% reduction in their revenues over the last five years. So the library system needed to have an adjustment just to stay the course, just to, to get the status quo in place so the new director that comes in, yeah. hopefully a visionary, as Alberto Ibarguen has pointed out in, in the papers, papers by me, Harold, yeah. and a, hopefully a visionary that will take the library department to the next level. The, the minor, minor tax increase amounts to, it's a 0.25% increase in the yeah. tax rates, which to me, I mean, it's on an average homeowner, it's about $7 a year to save the libraries. That's totally acceptable, I yeah. think, in anyone's mind. Yeah, I, I read in the, uh, the Herald the other day, I think the editorial said, for $100,000 of assessed valuation, it would be another $28 per year. No, no, I, I mean, that, no, no, the differential, when you look at the, the county uses 150,000 taxable yeah. value, yeah. the differential between what the mayor had recommended and what the commission did amounts to $7 on your tax bill yeah. annually. Yeah. So it's minor. Just, you know, anecdotally, uh, you are a police lieutenant, and even though you're assigned to the PBA, I know you talk to officers all the time. What do they tell you when they understand that the layoffs that are going to occur mean that officers assigned to the RID detail, uh, the rapid uh, you know, response unit, to robbery intervention, robbery intervention yes. uh, that domestic violence, uh, a, a number of uh, essential departments aren't going to be eliminated, but they're going to be cut back significantly. Well, the reaction that I get from the officers that <clears throat> still maintain an excellent communication with them is they're, they're actually floored how this department is actually shrinking when people are moving to the Miami, we're not able to provide them with the protection you're talking about investigative units that not only detect and deter crimes, but investigate it. And it's a much needed part. The mayor keeps saying, there's going to be enough patrol cars out there. That's a very small component of law enforcement. All right. Well, the mayor does say emphatically that, look, the same number of police, sworn police officers are going to be on the road. So it's not going to be a big difference. But, Terry, I understand from speaking to people at the PBA, John Rivera and others, that response time, especially in the non-emergency calls, is going to go up. It may even double. You may have to wait half an hour if you have a non-emergency to have a police officer. I mean, I think the notion that the Miami-Dade Police Department is about patrol cars only is kind of a fiction that, that is, is odd to deal with. I mean, this is a metropolitan area. Our, our police department investigates crimes, you know, identity theft, homicides. I mean, to me, the idea that all those investigators are going to be driving around cars and that will serve the public safety, I think it is, is a bad idea to grasp to. Yeah. But what, what I want to talk to you too is about the fact that the timing of everything here, I think the timing is off on this entire budget. The How mayor, so? How so? You know, the mayor gave us a, a tale of two budgets. There's a worst case scenario, a best case scenario. Right. I mean, the, you know, th this is totally going to be one budget and it's the worst case scenario. The timing to negotiate with the 10 collective bargaining units at Miami-Dade County is totally off for this year's budget. There is no ability to conclude negotiations probably until next February or March. So what's going to happen in the interim? Are well, you're going to have the worst case scenario. All the cuts that have been laid out, all the increase in transit fees, yeah. the STS riders having to pay more, the mowing cycles going down in the parks, the layoffs throughout the system. We're only talking about yeah. police here today. There's hundreds of people losing their positions in Miami-Dade County because this worst case scenario will be the budget. And it's going down among the principal reason is that the mayor says, uh, I sympathize with a cut in services, but I'm not gonna ask the voters of Miami-Dade County, the residents, to pay higher taxes. What do you say well, to that, Louise? They're gonna pay the price, and they're gonna pay it in service. They're gonna pay it in investigative efforts. We'll be able to perhaps apprehend somebody once we get there, God forbid, an hour wait. But the state attorney needs evidence to prosecute people, so that criminal will be right back on the street, not enough evidence. All we're asking the mayor to do is honor the contract the way he honors it with private vendors and sports teams, no different. All right, well, we will, I will be following this closely in the months, uh, months to come. I'm sorry we're out of time. But I appreciate you coming in, Terry and Luis. Uh, good to meet you. Nice and to meet you. Uh, 
Say hello to my friend John Rivera, Big John. 